Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to my abstract creation tutorial for GIMP. Uh, this is basically going to show you how to make abstracts like I do for my channel theme, as well as what I do on my DeviantArt page sometimes. So let's begin. I'm going to start off by making a new image and making it small, 640 by 480 because the bigger the image, the longer it takes to render one of these. What I mean by render, you'll see. Anyway, I'm going to fill in this uh, background black like so, and now I'm going to go to... Well, I, I should actually show you this first. Uh, the colors of your abstract will be whatever gradient is active. In this case, it's going to be the foreground to background gradient, but I'll show you what other ones look like later on. Anyway, go to Filters, Render, Nature, Flame, and this is basically your abstract creator right here. And yeah, it, it renders for me basically. So it's, it's I'm not necessarily drawing it, but it's computer drawing basically. Uh, what I want to do is zoom in on it just so I can see what the heck I'm drawing here. Uh, that one's actually that looks pretty neat to me actually. But let's just uh, align it with the x and y axis here, as you can see. Y is up and down. X is left and right, but that should be pretty obvious if you know axes and stuff like that. Um, the rendering, you got brightness. You can tell the difference as I go through it like that. That should be pretty obvious. I usually like to keep it at like 3 or so. The gamma is like the, the density of your abstract. I'll keep it at like 5 just for the heck of it, just to show you. Uh, contrast, as you can see, 0 will give you nothing. 5 will give you very sharp contrast. I usually like to keep it like right in the center or something like that. And the rest of these, I honestly don't know what they do. <laughs> it just doesn't seem to like change anything. I, I I don't know. See that? It doesn't change anything in the preview up here. It's weird. Anyway, um, now if you want to change the look of this abstract, uh, you would go to the edit option here, and then you got a bunch of choices. Now, um, when it's not the same, it'll do the same one that you were on before. It starts out random, and then when, once, when you click through these, the, the central one is the one that you're currently on, and the other ones are the ones that you can change it to. So let's just like cycle through them just to show you. And if you click on the middle one, it'll randomize the other ones. If you don't like any of the eight surrounding ones, and then you just keep going through until you get an abstract that you like. Um, you can change the variation of it, like I'm going to choose linear, because it'll be like ultra straight line just like going right through the picture and stuff like that. Now let's just go, whoa, holy cow. <laughs> I just go through here until we get something that looks kind of eye-catching, like maybe this one here. Let's, let's do, wait, actually, yeah, let's do this one here. Then I'll just go to OK, and then you got your abstract here. And then when you press OK, it'll render it for you, and as you can see, there's your abstract. Now, if you want to color it like this, you would have to create a new layer like that. Set this layer, click on it, and then set it to Overlay. And then you can just color it whatever you want to. Like, I'll just add some reds to it and just uh, grab a brush, scale it up. And you can see I can just color the abstract right into it, just like so. Um, now, if you would like to color this, like, automatically, you would have to select your gradient color. Like, the active gradient is the foreground, the background color, as you see. So, now that you see I changed it to red, let's change this one to... Let's just change it to a, like, blue or something like that. And now, let's render that same abstract once again. And you'll see that it's now got color in it. So, let's just let it render. And there you go. Now, you've got some color in your abstract. But it always looks kind of pale. Uh, I don't know why it does that. So, I just duplicate the layer and then set the upper layer on overlay. And that usually makes it a little bit bolder. Or I darken the colors. Uh, whatever. Whatever you need to do to make it look good, basically. And that's really how you create abstracts in GIMP. You can also erase parts of the abstract, of course. Like, I'll just take the uh, erase... Well, I, I could just write over it, actually, with a little bit of black. See, I'll just go to the black there. And if you want to, you can just draw over it. Actually, I should be using, like, a fuzzy brush or something like that. Like, uh, yeah, I just like to fade out the edges for the heck of it if I wanted to. This is just a basic tutorial. It's something that you have to play with to get the hang of. Uh, so I'll just leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.